Hey guys, it's Danielle here. Back with another video and I just popped these two like huge zits. So if they look crazy, that's why. I also kind of have a sore throat and I don't really know why. <laughs> But we're just gonna deal with it. So, anyways, um, it's currently 10:49. Um, Mason gets here at three. He lands at three o'clock, so I have to leave at like 2:30. Um, so, so, um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me to see my boyfriend because I've never done one of these before, and why not do a little vlog get ready with me? Um, usually. The morning that he gets here, usually I'll like rush to clean my room and like make it all cute and like make it look like my room isn't always dirty. Even though when I lived in California, we like weren't really long distance. Like he was with me 24 seven, like he never left my house. So at that time we weren't really long distance cause we were always together. But when I moved to Florida, we did become like long distance. Like. He goes home for a month, then I'll see him for like two weeks, then he goes back home, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I go to Texas, but most of the time he does come here. Just because I'm always really busy doing stuff here, so you know. But next time I'll probably go to Texas. But so yeah, my room is clean, which is nice. I don't have to worry about that. It's also his first time meeting Cora, which I'm excited for him to meet her. Um, but I'm gonna shave my legs because they kind of look like a gorilla. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just fill some water up in the bath really quick and we're gonna shave them. Um, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash my hair, even though it doesn't even need to be washed. But I wanna, I wanna straighten it. And can't really straighten it when it's already like this. So, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna shower and I'll show you guys my little shower routine, all of that fun stuff. But let me fill up the bath a little bit. Okay, and we'll I'm start to that after a shower, this like little red thing is gonna go away. So honestly, usually I shave my legs in my sh shower or in the bath, like in the bath. But it's a little different today because I have you guys and I can't show all that. So we're gonna do it this way. And we'll show you guys what I shave like. So first things first, I exfoliate my legs. This is the midnight scrub. This is from Field of Mime. This is from my own brand. I love saying that. Um, so if you guys use Field of Mime or if you know about it, so right now, baby oil does my, the job, honestly. Like baby oil is amazing. It shaves and makes it glide. So I'm trying to recreate actually a type of oil, um, like shaving oil right now for Field of Mime. So right now we're kind of just testing a whole bunch of different products, you know, trying to figure out which one works the best. So that's in the making right now. So that's a little sneak peek. I know I'm not really supposed to tell you guys about it, but I just get so excited and I tell you guys anyways. Um, so yeah, this is what I shave with. So it's so funny because this is, this is the one that's like out right now that you guys can purchase. But before midnight was a thing and it was on the website, I have this little, just normal black little thing, no logos, no nothing. And this was my tester. So, you know, I don't know if you guys know anything about, you know, like testing your products and stuff, but before, you know, you put a product out, um, you have like testers and, you know, you get to try them out yourself and, you know, see if you think they're good, you know, after they've been approved and all that. And so this one was mine and yeah isn't that so funny like here's the tester and here's the legit one so yeah but honestly i love our feminine products don't get me wrong but i think this one like it really took them to the next level like it's just it's a, a genuinely just like amazing product like i love it okay i'm gonna move you guys down here so you guys can see my little shaving routine personally i love my shaving routine i feel like i get my legs so smooth so first, you're just gonna wanna like wet your legs, common sense. Okay, you guys might get like weirded out by this, but I like never shave my thighs. Like literally never, because honestly, I've noticed that, like I'll shave like right here sometimes. Depends on the day. 
But like, I just really don't care to shave my thighs. You know, like, whatever, we're all human. Okay. So, here's how we did it. This stuff is so cool because I'm gonna show you guys like what it does. So it's kind of almost like a, like a sand. That's like what it reminds me of. But yeah, so a lot of people wanna ask questions about this. So I'm gonna explain it to you guys a little bit. So that's how much you need, honestly. A little goes a long way with this stuff. So the trick is, is that right now it's kind of like this like sand thing and you're just gonna dip it in water and then it turns into like this scrub. I love it. It's literally the best scrub ever. And it smells really good. Um, so anyways, back to um, that. So this stuff is Hawaiian Black Sea Salt. So I actually went to um, the Black Sand Beaches in Hawaii and they were beautiful. I literally love them so much. And I love the way like sand and like the salt make your legs feel like it almost makes it feel like you just went into like a pedicure. So I wanted to get something that kind of was like that. So we found out that you can actually, you know, import the sea salt from Hawaii and that's what we did. And so, yeah, so that's what's honestly so cool about this item. I love Hawaii, the people there, you know, their, um, what is it called? Their food, oh my God, it's amazing. Um, just, everything about Hawaii is so beautiful. Again, using just a little scoopful. And my legs already feel so smooth and I feel like it's so important to like do this when you shave because it just really helps to you know get all the excess dead skin off, to help with ingrown hairs, you know getting them out. So actually my friend Ty we, we used to be like neighbors, like we lived two houses down from each other. And then when I moved, when my parents split up and moved into an apartment, the same thing happened with his parents and he moved into an apartment. And so we actually moved into the same apartment. So we've known each other since we were like, oh, I don't even know, like maybe first grade, like probably like kindergarten, honestly. Um, and yeah, so we've been through everything together. And it's so cool because we just went to grad bash together. So like we went to like kindergarten and all of that together. And you know, just a few nights ago we were at grad bash together and it was so cute. So anyways, I'm done with that. I like to like clean it off a little bit because you know, the sand kind of gets all over the place. Like it gets all over the bathroom, but it doesn't stain, which is so surprising because you would think when you see like a black scrub, you're like, oh my God, that's, that's probably gonna stain. But no, it doesn't. So. Once we're done, they're nice and exfoliated. They look amazing. You wouldn't even be able to tell that they're full of hair. We're still gonna shave. Um, so anyways, like I was saying, so actually the first time I ever shaved, um, I think I was in like, so anyways, I just lather my legs up with oil, like a lot of it. Um, so the first time I was ever gonna shave my legs, I was in like, I think, I don't even know, fourth grade maybe? Maybe fourth or third grade, I don't remember. But um, I remember like this girl at school saying that she shaved her legs. And I was like, oh my God, like, I wanna shave mine. Like I'm always like so insecure, like wearing shorts and like my hairy legs are showing, but like I'm just too scared to do it. So Ty Marcos was the first one to ever shave my legs. And he like showed me that like, it's okay and it's not gonna hurt. And so now, like, whenever I'm, like, lazy, I just have him shave my legs. And it's, like, so cute. So, yeah. So, anyways, my point is that he shaved my legs yesterday. And he was, like, talking about how great the scrub is. And I was, like, I know. Anyways, I shave like this. I don't know if anyone else does this. But when I say it makes my legs, like, a freaking baby's butt, I mean it. Have I ever cut myself doing it? No. People always tell me, they're like, you shave so rough. I'm like, I don't know. But I mean, who cares? If I cut myself, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So guys, tomorrow, 
I go to my laser tattoo removal and I was so scared. I was never ever gonna get a tattoo removed in my life. I was always like, this is like, just like not me. Like, why would I get the tattoos to get them removed? But you know what? Life changes and you make new decisions. And I think that's totally fine if you wanna get a tattoo removed. Your body, it's your choice to get the tattoo. And if there's a way to remove it and you wanna remove it, go right ahead. But I'm really scared because I hear that it hurts worse than the tattoo. So that's, that's definitely a scary thing. Um, also, when I get in the shower, I like to wash with like soap, like scrub my legs off with soap after I shave. Um, and then I also like to, what's it called? I think I'm gonna see. Oh, use body conditioner. On my leg, so I do that too. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's by like I'm gonna dip my leg in the water really quick. This is such a mess. <laughs> shaving like this is so much harder than just shaving in the shower. But I wanted to show you guys my little like routine. But yeah, so once I get into the shower, I'm gonna wash and like do all that. Of course, washing my feel divine soap. But I'm gonna do the other leg and then I'll be done. So, I'll let you guys know when I'm out of the shower. Okay, so my favorite part about my shower is this. It has two shower heads, and one of them is like this like rainfall one, and then the other is just like a normal one, but I love like them coming from different ways. I don't know, it's just really cool. Okay guys, oh my god, wait, do I have soap right there? Uh, okay, let me put you there. Okay. So I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm gonna put my robe on and like dry off a little bit more because right now I am very wet. Sorry about that. Um, I'm also gonna put on my Feel Divine Cream. If you guys don't have it, it's a must after using some wash. I use it on my legs too because it's just really good. Um, but I'm not gonna show you guys me doing that because it's a little inappropriate, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'll see you guys when I'm in my robe and ready to start getting ready. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, wait. Um, so we're going to do my makeup and my hair. So I brushed my hair out already because if I don't brush it out as soon as... Oh my god. Oh, okay, my brother freaking keeps following me. Okay. So, anyways, like I was saying, I brushed it already because if I don't brush it as soon as I get in, out of the shower, it's not going to be good. It's going to be frizzy and all that. So, I'm going to put some of this detangler in and brush it again. I like to use, like, a wet type of brush because I feel like they just work better on my hair. So anytime I see Mason, he always like tells me, he's like, you don't have to get ready for me, babe. Like, you like, you look beautiful either way. And I'm like, but I want to. Like, why wouldn't I want to get ready? Like the first, like, okay, the first day I see him, I get all cute. And then like the next week that he's here, I look like a homeless person. I look like I haven't showered in days. I look gross. But the first day, I'm like, you know what? It's his first day. Why not? You know? I've been obsessed with like a really clean part in my hair. I don't know like why or like what made me like it so much. But I have. I know that this little part, like, it doesn't like to, like, split up. Like, it likes to, like, stay together. So I, like, have to do it when it's wet or it just doesn't look good the whole day. I hate parting my hair because I never get it perfect. Like, it always looks so perfect when other people part it. But when I part it, it never, ever looks perfect at all. Yeah, so if I brush it. And then I like blow it out. It usually will stay straight. 
for like a couple days which is really nice and then you know while it's straight i can also like choose if i want to like curl it or whatever but if i put like mousse in it and scrunch it and like wave it i'll have to wash it if i want to strain it because then it just doesn't straighten the same as it does when it's like freshly washed if that makes sense i do not have curly hair i have wavy hair. so um this is what i've been doing with my brows so i've been like creating let me move this closer like little like strokes and just like honestly like making i've been doing my eyebrows really natural and i feel like i'm like low-key like starting to like like my natural brow shape again which i love i think that's so like when you like start to like like something that's like natural about yourself it's like the best feeling ever because like all that work you put into like yourself before you're like oh my god like i like don't need that and it's like such an amazing feeling and i feel like everyone gets those like little things once in a while where they're like okay like i don't even need to do this like well, why am i doing this and it's so cute i just love it so my eyebrow with my eyebrow piercing it's like a little bit more difficult because i like to act like i have like a slit in my eyebrow so i kind of just like paint that on and i like brush it out and make it like look more natural i don't know why i like it to look like that but i just do i feel like it looks weird if it doesn't have like a slit in it i don't know maybe it's just me so see like they still look very very natural but they just have a little bit more hair in them and i naturally have like i don't mind my eyebrows like honestly like i don't mind the natural shape of them i just wish they had a little bit more hair not hair they have a lot of hair it's just thin hair like my hair on my eyebrows like look how long my eyelashes are but it's such thin hair like if it was like thick oh I have such beautiful ones. I have these like really thin, tiny little hairs. <coughs> All right, I carve them. Oh wait, first, let me take a selfie. No, not that. Um, I use a, what is this called? Brow freeze. Where's my brush for it? I use everything. You see this? I literally lose everything. What the heck? Ugh. Okay. Go. I know it's like gotta be somewhere. Anyways, let me do the rest of my makeup and I'll come back because this is gonna be like an hour. Oh, long, let me so. pause my music. We'll be back. Okay. So this is the makeup. I would love to have a British accent. They're so cool. People with British accents are so lucky. But I know when they when they meet me, they're like, you have an accent. But I'm like, no, you. You're the one with the accent. Imagine if I had a British accent. I would sound so much more beautiful. That's a terrible accent. I don't even know why I'm trying. But, so we're going to do my hair now. I told you guys I'm going to straighten it. Um, looking pretty good, honestly. So I don't have to do too much work. So. I've been like going back and forth with my Dyson. So this is actually, wait, the air wrap, but I lost all the other pieces. So what a waste of $400. Um, but I've been going between this one and the Revlon one. Honestly, in my opinion, this isn't that great. The only reason why I like it is because it like works better for straightening because it's like a little bit smaller and you can work more precisely and the Revlon one's better at like blow drying I feel like but 
either way i think both of them are amazing but 400 dollars compared to 50 is like come on like seriously so that's that's my take on it but yeah so first i'm gonna just thoroughly thoroughly brush through my hair um so i always get like knots at the end of my extensions for some reason but it's fine because we're gonna brush through them i don't like know what it is but something like about my makeup like just like doesn't feel cute. I don't know what it is though. Maybe like maybe it's these. Maybe they're like too bunched up and you like spread them out. Yeah, so straightening my hair is definitely not my favorite thing to do, but we still do it. And we take like two hours out of our day to do it. So yeah, <sighs> my feet hurt so bad. Like, I don't know if you guys watched my prom video, but oh, can you guys even see it? My blisters are literally still there <laughs> and they hurt so bad. Like, so terribly bad. All right, so I'm gonna do my hair really quick. I'm gonna blow dry it. Obviously, you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me because I'm blow drying it. So, I'll be back when it's done. Be um, So, a visitor came. She took my rug. Hey, play with your toys. This is this little monster. Here, this is yours. This isn't a toy. Yay. No, you know what? We're just gonna let her play with it. Cause or else she's a psycho. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish straightening my hair. I just finished blow drying it. it. Took me like 20 minutes, not too bad. Um, so now we're gonna straighten it. Well, Cora has literally brought everything out into my room. Well, it's not that bad, but she has a shoe, a bikini bottom, socks. I don't even know. I don't even know why I buy her toys. She just steals all my stuff. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing. It's nothing crazy. I just put on some sweats and a cute white top. So that's the white top. So yeah, um, I'll let you guys know when it's done pick them up. I think it's in like an hour or so. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Yeah, an hour. So I'll let you know when we go. Uh Okay guys, so we're at the airport. Cora's asleep. There's my mom. Um, Mason's flight got delayed like 15 minutes, but something happened where they like wouldn't let people off the plane. So it's been so long and he's still not off. Wait, he's still not off. Yeah, um, well, he's getting his baggage, but the baggage just literally take like 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on at this airport, but we're just waiting behind these other cars that are here. So I'll let you guys know when we finally get to him. So Mason met Cora. Look at them. She's actually getting along with him. Hi. So anyways, Mason's here now. So, um, I think we're gonna go back home to drop Cora off and then go get food because I'm hungry. So, I'll just vlog the day because I already started. Well, not the day, but I'll Jesus just let you know what we did. Ah, okay, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? Mason just picked that ugliest picture of me. 
Um, so this is the end of the video since we picked him up and we're here. Um, thanks for getting ready with me to pick up my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, he's not my boyfriend. Oh. Cora is sitting with my mom over there. <laughs> Look how cute she looks. But anyways, um, this is the end. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell. All that fun. Yeah, super... Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.